All right, guys, what's going on? How is everybody? Jason, Jason. Doing fine, thank you. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we have, looks like Mr. Moses, Mr. James, Mr. Muhammad. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, I can't see. I can't see Mr. Mohammed. All I can see is uh I know. I'll, I'll be there in a second. I'm looking for my note. The whole okay, that's fine. disappear. All right, guys. So what you got for me? All right. I haven't received I literally have not received I, I literally have not project six. anybody's um projects in a bit. What's going on? It's coming this weekend, project six. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I was traveling the whole last week. It was just crazy, but um, I'll get. But I, I got a question about these, uh, the the joints. Uh, I kind of got a little, I um, mean, joining the three tables or something. I'd like a little help on that or some kind of clarity, if you could. Who found it? Yeah. Okay, what uh, what kind of joints? Join, okay. Just, just, just joins in general. Uh, yes, I mean, I was going through. Of course, you're kind of going slowly, but I'm going through some of those that we are the, uh, joining the three tables. Or yes, that would be helpful. Well, if you can clarify something on that, yeah. Mm. Sure. All right. So, if I describe HR employees, if I describe HR dot departments. I describe HR dot locations, right? You can see, you can see that with this table, you guys can see the screen, right? Yeah. You all can see. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so you can see that um, what binds the HR employees and the HR departments table is department ID, right? So that's it. And they're spelt exactly the same, and the data type is exactly the same as well. You see, you see that? So that is so. This is basically the primary key, and this is basically the foreign key. But let's not let's not go into that. The bottom line is, the whole point, the whole reason why I would join a table is, let's say I want to see all the last names, and I want to see all the let's say locations or department names, right? So this is, I'm trying to get information from two different tables. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get information from two different tables, but in order for me to do that, I need to have a bridge that's going to be able to facilitate me seeing two columns from two different tables. Got it? Okay, so then we have this two tables. We have department, um, HR departments, HR locations. What binds them is location ID, right? So that is what's common. They're spelt exactly the same, and that's very important as well. They're spelt exactly the same, and the, and the data type is the same as well. Number four, number four, right? Number four. Okay. All right. So that means that we can use easy. We can use the we can use a using, right? We can use the the using identifier to to join the tables very simply, very easily, right? The way we do that is now if we did. Now I'll show you the hard way, right? But I'll show you the easy way first. So if I just want to see the last name, and I want to see, so I want to see the last name from from HR from HR employees, and I also want to see the let's say department names from HR departments. Now we know that we can join these two tables because they have department ID and department ID in common, right? So it's like a bridge. It's like a glue that that you can use to connect, to bind the two tables, like a bridge that I can use to transfer things from each other if I want to see uh, two different things. If they didn't have a connector, I wouldn't be able to, so for instance, if I want to see the last name and I want to see the street address, I can't do it. If I just want to see from those two tables without me adding a, a third table as a bridge, I can't do it. You see what I'm saying? Because there's really nothing that, that connects them. Does that make sense? There's really nothing that connects them. I mean, just, I mean, yeah. I mean, we can, but, you know, just let's just keep things simple, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now, if I want to see the last name and department name, so I want to see department name, which is in HR departments, and last name, which is in HR employees. 
So I simply do department name from HR employees, join HR dot what? The second table, departments, right? Using, right? I'm gonna, using, what am I using? What do they have in common? Department ID, right? They also have manager ID as well, but I'm just gonna, I'm just used to using department IDs, all right? So I'm just gonna use department ID. Department underscore ID, right? Done. So it looks like I mis mistyped something. So I'm just gonna copy this. Depart department ID, semicolon, enter, all right? So it gives me all the last names and all the department names. Really that simple, right? So now, if I want to join, um, if I wanted to join uh, all three tables, so once again, describe HR dot employees, describe HR dot departments, describe HR dot locations. All right. Okay. So now, I let's say I want to see. I want to see the last name. I want to see the department names, and I also want to see, let's say, the city. Right. So I simply do select last name. What columns do I want? So you got to list all the columns first. Right. So well, okay. Just select last name, department name, and city. Because that's what I want to see, right, Mr. Moses, right? That's what I said I want to see. I want to see the last name. I want to okay. see the department name. So okay. the last name is going to come from one table. Department name is going to come from second table, which is this guy. City is the third thing I want to see. It's going to come from this table. So three different columns, three different tables. How am I going to join them, right? In order for me to join them, they have to have things in common. So I'm going to join this table of HR employees to okay. this table with what they have in common, which is department ID. Then I'm going to join this table, HR departments, to this table, HR locations, with what they have in common, which is what? Location ID. See that? So how would I do that? Yeah, OK. Select last name, department ID, right? From, right, HR.employees using, right? So I'm going to join HR employees to HR departments, right? From HR, um, from from HR, sorry. You're missing join. Join HR departments, departments, right? Using um, what they have in common, departments ID, and join. So now, so I've done the first join. So these two tables are, 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 are a, a join together, right? Then I go right into the next join. Then join table two to table three, join hr.locations, right? Using location ID, right? So that's it. So when I do this and I press enter, it gives me everything I need. So I'm just gonna do call last name for a 10 it's okay so everything looks nice and pretty okay i'm going to do l so you can see this this is this so this is the command so i want three things last name department name city right from hr employees right i'm going to join it to this table so i do one table at a time from table one i join it to table two what am I going to use to join them? I'm going to use, sorry, I'm going to use department ID. Then I'm going to join table two to table three. Then I'm just going to immediately go to the join the join um, statement. Join HR locations. What am I going to use to join two to three? Using location ID. And that's how I get it. Does that make sense? Well, it's making a little sense, making a little sense. Okay, question is, okay, um, based on 
whatever you're doing the selection because you know uh the parent table is hr dot employees say that again they said the parent table is hr dot employees well, the which table is hr employees the that's the the, the main table the the uh parent table yes um uh, for the okay so for the department id yes so the parent table would be would be the HR employees, but the but the child table would be um, HR departments, right? Mm -hmm. And then for the um, for the um, for the HR the departments and the HR locations, the parent uh, would be the location ID column in HR departments, and the child would be the uh, HR uh, would be the location ID in the HR what locations table. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? There always has yeah, to be right. a parent and a child, a parent and a child. See what I'm saying? If you're mm -hmm. going to join two tables together, there has to be there has to be a binding column, a parent and a child. Make sense? Okay. Yep. Okay. I got to in this case. I got to redo it again to kind of you know um, get a good grasp. But that 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 helps. So that helps quite a bit. Sure. We mm -hmm. can do that. That's we can do another one. That's mm -hmm. um. Let me see. Um. Um. Select. Post, post, select table name. So guys, I just want to see all the tables that user HR has. So uh is it this one? Sure, let's let's have some fun. So if I do describe HR dot regions, describe HR dot countries. Okay, and okay, so let's just join these two tables together, right? So I want to see the region ID, and I want to see the country name. Well, actually, I want to see the region name, and I want to see the country name, right? Two totally different tables. You see what I'm saying? Two totally different tables that I've I've, I've really talked about, right? So it's it's the same concept, right? So I'm just going to do a select, right? Region name, list all the columns first that you want to see. Co country name from what tables? Okay, from this guy, HR dot regions. Join, right? HR the countries, right? Using what am I going to use to, to bind to bind the two tables? What's common? Region ID. Region ID, right? So I'm just going to put yeah. just going to put region ID right there. It's the same thing. It's, it's the same concept, right? So you can see, right? So it shows me all the country names and all the region IDs. Real simple, right? So if right. I said, okay, I want to see the jobs and job history. Uh, describe jobs. Describe job underscore history. What was it called? Yeah. It's called. Yeah. Job. Oh. Describe HR dot job history. Okay, so I have employee ID, start day, job ID, blah, blah, blah. Right, so can I join these two tables? Sure, because they have job ID, yeah? Mm. So, so now I wanna see the job title and I wanna see the start date and I wanna see the employee ID, All right? So I wanna see the job title, I wanna see the employee ID and I wanna see the start date, right? So I list all the columns, select what? Select job title is what I wanna see. I list everything I wanna see first. Well, let me do employee ID first. Yeah, this makes sense, right? Employee ID doesn't matter. I right? just just you know just makes it look better. Okay, job title and what start date? Okay, from HR dot or well, jobs, right? Join HR dot job underscore history using. What are we going to use? We're going to use what they have in common, which is job ID. You see job ID here, job ID there. Done. Okay. Uh, right. uh, uh. What's that? 
uh, hold it there for a moment. Okay. So the columns that we you selected that was employee ID and job title. They all come from. Yes. I, I, so. Table. So I didn't. That, that's just. I just want to see these columns, right? Whatever. Co that's the easy part, right? Just mm. do. Just basic select. Okay. I want to. I want to. I want to select this. I want to select this. I want to select this. I want to select that. That's the easy part, right? Just, just okay. Oh, so in other words, you can select any column from any of the tables. Yeah. It, what it just depends you, what on what you, I want to see. It just depends on what, what I want to see. Oh yeah, but what you're using is the common column. Uh, between the tables to join them. All okay. right. If they, if they don't have a common column, it's. Yeah. Um, I mean, you still can do it, but is but just for 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 what I'm teaching right now, mm. this is the easiest way to do it, right? If they oh, have a common okay. column that's common between, this is the easy way to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then just do semicolon, press enter, right? It shows you everything. See what I'm saying? Yep. So if I wanted to order it, um, simple. Just do order. By let's I don't know let's do order by one, right? So it gives you everything by the employee ID, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so that's it, you know, like real simple. So just remember that um, everything has to have a, a a primary key, a foreign key, just to you know, so it, so the tables could be relatable. Remember, Oracle is a relational database, right? Meaning um, a database is just a just a bunch of tables, you know, that you know form a database that's all it is right all data goes inside of a table right but so for, for all this to make sense right if the tables can't relate to each other or we can't pull information from multiple tables into one spreadsheet for instance then it makes the database kind of useless you know what i'm saying that's why they call it a relational database make sense yep that's that's good yeah? thank you and what makes it a relational database is what the primary and the foreign keys Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So yeah. So um, if let's say another way to do it is if I just if I did something like um, the actually the easiest way to to join tables where the column names that that join that um, that are similar ex spelled exactly the same and the data type is exactly the same. Just use natural join, dude. Just do natural join. Natural join HR the job history done. Easy, no need for using nothing, right? Select blah, 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 from this table, natural join that table, done, you're done. That's it, same, same thing, same thing, right? As long as, as, as long as, as long as whatever binds the tables are spelt exactly the same and the what? And the data type exactly the same, you should have no issue. With natural join is what I would use every, each and every time, no issue. I'd use natural join every time. Make sense? Now, if the if what you call it now, if this was job ID and this was let's say JB ID, then you can't use using and then you can't use um, natural join. Then you got to do things the hard way with the e dot this r that did blah 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 blah. Right? That's that's the hard part. So for instance. It'll be something like um, maybe a host Claire describe eight. You know what? Connect HR slash HR. Okay. All right. Host Claire. All right. So, um, describe employees. Describe um, departments, for instance. Okay. All right. So let's say I want to see the employee ID and I want to see the department name. So I do something like select e dot oh God, e dot employee ID, right, comma, D dot department ID. Uh, okay, okay. Um, what... Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. This is the long way to do it, bro. Yes, okay. yeah, because this, that would this, this, this is the annoying way to do it. Yeah, the E, the D, and it's like, okay. These, these are, the E dot and the D dots, these, these are, let me type it. Let me type it, and then yes. I'll explain. Right? Okay. From um, employees E, comma departments e, where E dot what they have in common department ID equals D dot department ID. Yes. So 
All right. So now watch, right? So real simple stuff, right? So, okay. So it's basically basic select statements, except we're just adding a where clause. And it just looks a little complicated, but it's, it's, it's annoying, right? When I when also when I was learning joins, when I when I was first learning how to do joins this way, I did not like it. I just I just had to go with the flow and just just go with the formula until I discovered natural join and using. Then this made sense, so I had to do things in reverse. So once I found using, because I, I used to hate doing joins until I found using, then using because using just made sense to me. Right. It wasn't until I understood using a natural join on to, then I said, okay, I know okay, I get it now. So basically, let's forget that these are just aliases. These are just aliases, right? So select E, employee ID is E, right? I, it doesn't have to be E, right? So but just let me explain, right? Employee ID comes from the employee table. Department ID comes from the D for department table. Then from the table employees space E, right? Whatever alias you put in the back must be the same alias you put at the front of the table. Same thing here. Same alias you put in the back, but the same alias you put here in the front, right? Where E dot department ID equals D dot department ID. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. This is not one of my favorites, right? Ways of joining at all. But, some but you just have to know it because sometimes it's not is you, sometimes you just have, especially in your project um, four, right? Where I tell you guys to join tables that don't have similar columns, then you have no choice but to use this, to use this. You have no choice, right? You got no choice, right? Especially um, if this, if let's say this was, D, if, let's say this was DEPT and this was department ID, you can still join it, right? But you can't use using or natural join. So that's where you have to do the old school method. Does that make sense? At least it's, it's better than where I started. Don't worry. When, when you come to class, right? When you come to yeah. class, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll drill it into you real good, Mr. Moses. All right. Okay. <laughs> when you come to class, I'll drill it into you real good. Yes. Oh, okay. By the way, let's talk about that, uh, the class. Yes, okay. What's the, what's, uh, the schedule supposed to be like? Uh, how many days? Yeah, so we're gonna um we're gonna do one, it's gonna be once a week, right? And I'm thinking I'm thinking that is it's gonna be on Thursdays the way we've been doing it now since you guys are used to it. So I'm thinking that, I'm thinking it's gonna be Thursdays. It's either gonna be Wednesdays or Thursdays, one of one or the other. Okay. Yes, since you guys are used to you know coming to class on Thursdays and, and you guys are, are all set with that, then it's probably gonna be on Thursdays. Makes sense. All right. So, but when you guys come, you know, you guys can actually see me one on one, and I can actually see what you guys are doing or what you guys are doing wrong. Like, you guys can ask me like the intimate questions and stuff like that. I'm going mm -hmm. to show you like new things that you guys haven't um, haven't seen before, right? So these are some of the some of the, and to be fair, guys, like I got a job like faster than I think anybody has ever gotten a job, right? From going from student to to get a job, Oracle. I, like I got a job in 24 hours, right? But to be fair, one thing that I did was I took my class twice. Well, technically it was once. So the second time that I was that I went through, I, I, I knew, so I went through the class once just like you guys are going through, right? But then the second time I became his, his, um, his um, assistant. Because so for the new students that were coming through, so I, because I'd been doing my my um, my homework and my projects really really well, so I just said, you know what, let me just be his assistant for a while. I didn't, I would just, I just wanted to help the guy out, you know. So when he taught, I would just stand in the back. So when other students were um, were having issues, then I would help him fix their issues while he continued to teach. That helped speed up my my uh, my learning as well. So Mr. Muhammad. I, I took I took the class twice. That makes sense, All right? So 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 what I'm, so what I'm saying is that, that second time going through it again. Oh, that really helped me out tremendously, tremendously, right? Because it wow. made me understand like the little things. See what I'm saying? Like the little little things, right? Hmm. 
So um, doing the class one on one, yes, it does have it does it definitely has its, its advantages for sure, right? But if you don't want, what year to, was your that, class? Was that what year was your class? Oh my god, <laughs> dude, <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time, dude. Uh, dude, we're talking. Oh man, dude, uh, nine, ten years. I don't know. It's been a while, bro. Well, that's a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, dude. <laughs> right, so. Um, <laughs> Okay. All right, Mr. Moses, do you have any more questions? Yeah, I'm, I'm anxiously waiting for that. Definitely, uh, I, I definitely want to get jump in that. No doubt. No, yeah. So, so the way to work is just make sure you bring your laptops. Um, just bring your laptops and and um, yeah, just like you're coming to a regular class, and then I'll teach. And you know, you know, instead of us having like stand standalone um, servers. Just bring your laptops. Is 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 it's fine, and and we'll we'll take it from there. Okay. So I'll definitely Sorry. share. I'll, I'll definitely share everything by uh, by this weekend. You guys will have all the information, and then um, I'll I'll send you guys the link where you guys can um can register and all that. And um, you guys will have me for what nine ten weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. So jealous, man. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hey, Mr. James, I know, right? <laughs> it's all yeah, good, man. Man. I wish you were here too, man. <laughs> well, Mr. James, you're doing fine. I saw your project four. It looks like you're just turning your project four, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm two weeks behind, but bear with good me, work, please. Good I work, good work, good yeah. work. So I'm working on five right now. So good job, good job, good job, good job. Okay, you know, uh, I, I'm six months behind. Okay, Jason. Okay, Mr. Muhammad. I messed up real bad. What's going on? I think I I didn't put the uh, <clears throat> when I create the uh, database in Oracle Oracle Seven on Project Six. Uh -huh. I think I missed up something. So <laughs> so the account yeah, is locked what? now. I could I could only log in as six. The what account is locked now. HR is locked. Uh, Scott is locked. I I think I didn't. Uh, the password, I, I type it too fast. Real it's simple. Wrong. I can't Dude, remember what it is. You can unlock it. So real, my... real simple. Masana, real simple. Alta user HR account unlock. That's it. Or you just do this. Alta user HR identified by HR by... account. Mm. What? Unlock. Simple. All right? Press enter. Done. Oh, I'm... It's not gonna work for me because I'm I'm HR, so I'm just gonna connect back assist. I'm gonna copy this again. Alter. Yeah, that's it, dude. All you, that's all you have to do. So you forgot the password, that's fine. That's normal, right? And then you just do this. Yeah, it kind of lock. Takes a while here. I'm not sure why. You have the user HR. Of course, you have the user HR, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can do select from HR to employees, right? Assist, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. So, but you can't connect as HR. Is that what you're saying? I did. Yeah. No, I can. Did you do this command? Yeah, I did. And it worked, right? Oh, I'm good now. Oh, I'll fix Scott later on. Yeah, that's it. That's what you got. So, uh, the the problem that I had um, yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? I couldn't. Uh, I was trying to perform an easy connect to an HR. Couldn't mm -hmm. do it. I can't even start the listener now. Why can't you? Why can't you? Would start you like me? Um, it says listener failed to start. See error message above, oh. which is missing listener name Mohammed in listener or Dude, that or no, 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 no. just delete it and start over, bro. So just do it net ca. Mm -hmm. My my machine sometimes it won't show the, the full screen, so I'll try to. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me I'll make that a listener. Let me close a couple of these bad boys. Okay, you see, you see, listen configuration, right? 
Mr. Mama, can't can you see, see this? the screen. Can you see my screen? No, yeah, I can. Yeah. It's like you're frozen. Mr. Moses, you can see my screen, right? Yes, I can see a screen. Yes, you can see, I see. I see the next screen. Yeah, yeah I, that, see. I see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just hit next, dude. Just delete it, bro. It's not a big deal. Look, I'm gonna delete mine. Was well, this for my? Uh, um, hold on. Let me um. Just let me make sure real quick. Yeah. Okay. okay. I create another list in there. So if I if if you go to your Oracle home. Network admin. Yep, network admin. Uh, tax. Let me just do ls. Okay, okay. Cat listener. Okay. All right. So I definitely have a listener and is listening for the database ORCO. Cool. All right. So now when I do um, cat TNS names. All right. So it's definitely listening for for my database ORCO, yeah? Cool, all right, so this is my my host name. Looks like this is my host name. Oh, because I have, this is for my data broker, right? Okay, all right, so what's the name? Uh, so guys, how do you find the IP address of your computer? Somebody tell me. Somebody <laughs> tell me. Ah, uh, it's tricky. I have config space minus a. I have config space minus a. Okay. Oh shoot, that's week one. Yeah, hey, I know yeah. it's week one. Yeah, you telling me? Yes, I know. All right. <laughs> right? Oh, you, you're asking. Oh, I didn't know you were asking. Oh, now you know what I was asking. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, let's see. All right. So let's see. Okay. So now when I do SQL plus, uh, let's see, HR, of course, that's HR at ORCO. I press enter. Let's see. Uh, this is not going to work. I was getting those issues. All right, but what anyway? But what issues are you having? I don't have time to configure this stuff. Dude. All right, so what what issues are you, uh, are you having, Mister Muhammad? Oh, last night I was trying to make an um, perform an easy, easy connect. Okay. And it says the Oracle doesn't exist. The one that I sent a picture to Oracle doesn't exist. Oh, not 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 enough memory on the Realm, right? Wait, wait, wait. But right now, I think I messed mess it up real bad. How many databases do you have on your system? Again, because I don't remember the... Uh, I only have two. No, no. Release, delete one. I only have two. Okay, I will delete the old one. Yeah, delete one, because if it's if it's, if it's screaming from, from memory, as a matter of fact, on your, on your OS, right, type free. Type the command free. Okay. So I have the command for you and, and and let me know how much how much RAM do you have? How much RAM? Yeah. You see in how uh, the total I have four zero total I have four zero four one 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 two. Three is two six Four two five zero four. I didn't have my glasses on, so I had to be really close. Okay, just delete three, three two five zero oh, four. Okay, just delete, delete, one, of delete one of your databases. Yeah, just delete one of your databases, and you should be okay. Okay, makes sense. It. Yeah, delete one of your databases. Uh, sure. And because it, it looks like it's screaming, so but go through week go through week six video right, and it's dude, you have just one. You just have one computer. Um, you just have one. You just have, dude. You're, on, you're right now. You're on the local host, so you have. You shouldn't have any issues whatsoever mm -hmm. connecting. No issue whatsoever, dude. I had. Is, is that, I had this problem before I was doing the project when I was watching the video. I, I saw people. I was watching it back to back. 
the time when I'm doing the problem, I forgot yes. how to do it. See, Miss Olga, look, look back again. Look, net CA. See, I, did you do your net manager? I did. No, you didn't do net manager, did you? <laughs> I did. I did. No, I did. I did. You did net manager, right? You sure? I had the listener. I did. No, I did. Service name, local uh, service net name. I did. I, you know, the service name is the database name. Net name is was my name, but that's why I couldn't connect. Nah, you didn't do that. You know, are you sure you type you did net M, you did net you manager? So N G R. Look, yes, yeah. And I clicked. I clicked the mic all the way down. Okay. All right. Look. See. I'm not kidding. I did. Look. If I just want, if I did reconfigure, see. So this is. So you see, this is my database, blah, 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 right? You put in your service name, which is ORCL, you type next, ORCL, you type next, TCP, leave that, you know, your host name, I think for mine is PMY. Yep, new way 01. So yours is gonna be new way 01, yeah? So I'm gonna hit next, don't perform, mm -hmm. local mm -hmm. net service name, uh no uh let me hear yes sure uh S -V -Y. next next uh, what is that thing S D Y uh standby I think okay next 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 Dude, next. I'm just reconfiguring stuff, guys. That's all. Finish. Right? Okay. Yeah. I think this is SDDY. Go see. Go see. Okay. That's fine. All right. So now, when I come over here, LSNRCTL status. Status. In fact, well, I think my um, I think my host name. In fact, let me. Um, now it's okay. Now it's working. Oh, yours is working. It's working now. <laughs> now it's working. I was just doing exactly what I did. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me let's see the status. <laughs> this is <laughs> stupid. I did exactly what. Oh, okay, boy. Let's see one. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, so I'ma change that. this guy. I'ma change this guy to press I you see what I'm you see what I'm doing? IP address, yeah. PMY. Yeah. Oh. Okay. oh my bad. No, this is right. Host host name should be IP address or something. This is this should be ORCL. I'm going to change this to, just changing some things around, guys. STBY. Okay. Looks fine. Looks fine. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, I'm gonna change this guy. I'm gonna save this guy. RCTL, LSNR, CTL, reload. Reload. Yep. Listen, I'm playing games today. All right. So, anyway, Mr. Muhammad, do you get the point? Can you guys see me or no? I can see you, yes. But now. Uh, no, you're frozen. Can you see my screen? I can't see my screen. It's like you're, it's like you're, you're it's like but anyway. You're, are you looking at me or are you looking at? Yeah, I can see you. Oh, your, your screen is not showing. I mean, your terminal okay. is not showing. Your Oracle terminal is not Something showing. Something wrong with this today. It's just messing up. No, I don't know how to do this. Okay, can you see me now? 
Okay, Jason, see, I'm, I'm still having this problem here. Look at it. I, there it come is. Come on, computer. Yeah, there it is. It. Yeah. Yeah, I can see Oracle not available. Single blah, 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 blah. Uh, what was that? Yeah, TNS could not resolve connect identifier specified. It just simply means that, um, scroll up a little bit. Um, whatever you're putting after the at sign, it's not, okay. it's not liking. It's not liking whatever you're putting after the, after the at sign. What at sign? When you do SQL plus HR slash HR at oh, blah, blah, blah. It ain't liking that, dude. Hmm. And you're sure you, you're yeah, sure, you're there. sure you, you, you registered this to the net manager, right? You sure? You sure? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it again. I, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to do it again. It's, it's, not, again. it's, it's not even nice. complicated, dude. Yeah. Uh, so, no, no, it is not. It's my hand. And I have my glasses on, so. So. <sighs> Net MGR. So what I'm just going to do here, I'm, nope. just gonna, I'm going to delete my listener. I'm going to delete my tennis. It's not even a big deal, dude. Not, so not a big deal, right? So, but this is a VM too, so I'm, I got to kind of, uh, you guys, I don't want to work hard today, dude. All right, so um, I'm just going to delete this guy. Okay, I'll show you, Jason. I have my glasses on. I hope I'm looking at it right. Yeah, so you click on the microphone, right? It's here, right? Yeah, you click on the microphone. Yeah, I click it here. Mm -hmm. And I'm here. And I go here. Is it, does it say database service? It what are you asking me for? <laughs> You're supposed to know that. I can't, yeah, I can't, see, know that. I can't Don't see ask me that. nothing. <laughs> right? Yes, it's dirty database services. Yes. I, I save network. Hey, by the way. Um, the data and, name that you put at the front, uh -huh. at the top, and the bottom. Hold on, let me mm -hmm. let me maximize you. Let me see if I can maximize you. Hold up. Uh, let's see. Is there a way I can maximize you? Yeah. Uh, hold up. Let's see. I thought that was a way you can maximize my, I guess not. Where art thou? Yeah, spotlight. Nope. It's not what I want. Um, I don't know, dude. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I can't. I can't hardly see your screen, Mister. 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 Mohammed. Sorry. So uh, this would be my advice to you, Mister. Mohammed. Delete. See, see, yet another reason why you know you want to do the the one on one, so I can actually touch, feel, and see everything, right? But Mister. Mohammed, what what I would do if I were you is delete your listener. Delete your TNS name to or a file. Just mm. start from scratch, right? And you've already you should have deleted that database because it's sucking, okay. because it's sucking up RAM, right? So delete that that database that's not ORCL. Delete your listener. Delete your TNS name to or a file. Do mm. that, right? Mm -hmm. Once you do that, then the next thing that you want to do is recreate your listener yeah. step by step, exactly the way it's done on the video, exactly. Right. Make sure your database is ORCL so there's no confusion whatsoever. Right. And then once you're done with everything, just do LSNRCTL on reload. Right. Once you do that, then you should see something like uh, like this. If I could see it. Yeah. So when you do reload, yeah, you mm -hmm. should see something like this. When you see, when you see, can you see my, my screen? It's a moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you should you should see something like this. 
yeah. service or yeah. has, has instance, blah, blah, blah. Once you see that, okay, then you know you're good. You see what I'm saying? Then you know you're good. So just delete your database. I'm sorry, not, no. Delete your listener, delete your TNS names or file. recreate everything from scratch. Once you, once you, once you um, then recreate it, then, then you want to register your database. No, uh, then you want to, you want, you want to, um, you want to register your database with the listener using Net Manager, right? So you want to Net MGR. So we're gonna come here. So. You, plus sign on local, plus sign on listeners, plus sign on listener, then you want to select whatever listener it is. And then uh, I can't see all of a sudden. Anyway, we just follow the videos, real simple. Um, you want to select, um, I can't really see. Um, no, you can't, I can't really see. But anyway, um, Anyway, is it is it service name? Um, uh, anyway, follow the videos. I'm not doing the work for you guys, right? That's why I did the videos. We find that. That's the follow the videos. Anyway, register your database with the um, with the um, with with the um, with the listener through the net MGR. I'm gonna use this guy, right? So you guys can see mm -hmm. mine a little bit funky, but that's fine. Yours should only yeah. have ORCL. And that's fine. So you just want to click on listeners. Whatever your listener is, right? Whatever it is, you guys are blocking me. Hold on, hold on. let me. Okay, right. So whatever your listener is, you want to you want to select that. Yours your screen will look different from this. You you guys are on eleven, um, eleven eleven two oh one, not not twelve, right? But anyway, so once you do that, you go to listener. Um, you do um your listener control uh, reload. And then you should be able to you should be able to connect via uh, HR sys or um, or uh, what you call it or um, whatever user you're trying to connect to. Make sense? Okay. All right. And remember, remember when you're connecting as remember when you're connecting as when you're connecting as a sysd, remember to always do sys. Um, slash whatever. Okay, let's just use it. HR for instance. HR slash HR. And if you have sysdb bay privileges, um, at ORCL as sysdb bay. Never, never, never forget that. So meaning, if you're using the sysdba, you do what? Sys slash Oracle at the what? The database name at. I mean, as sysdba. Don't forget to use that. Make sense? Or else you're going to have an issue. That's if you're connecting as a SysDBA. But if you're just connecting as HR, no need for that. Now just do HR slash HR at HR slash HR at ORC. Make sense? Press enter, you should be good. Okay. Make sense? Let's try that. Yeah, okay. Dude, dude, this 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 exercise that I'm telling you about should take you what two and a half minutes. It's not even a big deal. Yeah. Delete your listener, that'll take 10 seconds. Delete your TNS, that'll take seven seconds. You know what I'm saying? They just recreated. That'll take you what five clicks? Your TNS names, you know, three clicks. Four to five, yeah. Yeah, and then just register with the mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> with the list on net manager, reload that bitch, and then just connect. That's it. It's not a big deal. Um, let me try it. Let me try it. Thank yeah. you. Not a big deal, dude. Not a big deal. Thank you. Okay. All right. Mr. James, what right. you got? Thank you, Jason. Mr. James, what uh, you got? You. I just got one, only one question. Tell me. And it's about question 90 on uh, project four. Question nine. My query, has been running. My query has been running since last night. <laughs> okay. What happened? So, I don't know. Is it is it meant to trip us or is is it a the question? question? Uh, the question was to create a table. Uh huh. But it's a duplicate of like three other tables in a different schema. 
What do you mean three different? What do you mean? Uh, so, oh, so create a new table called Warehouse New as translated name, weight class, supply ID, product status, list price, line item ID from product information table, product description table, and the other items tables. So it's like three tables we're creating a table from, but it's just not it's easy. It's dude. running, but it's, it's easy, dude. Dude, it's easy. It's not. It's, it's not that. It's not that complicated. Dude. I'm just asking you to create a table using joins. That's it, right? That's yeah, fine. yeah. I I try, but it's running. It keeps running like forever. So let me just use let me just use an example, right? So describe HR employees. HR employees, just five HR, dot, let's say departments. Departments. Okay. So I want to create a table that has a last name and department name and let's say, I don't know, location ID, right? And I'm going to call this table James. Create table James as, right? Select. Yes. Yeah, basic stuff. You know, you, okay. you got this. So that, that okay. first name, I don't know, department name, I don't know. Okay. Location ID from hr.employees join hr.departments. HR. Okay. Using okay. departments. Primary keys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Department ID. Simple. That's it, dude. Got it. I'll try again. Yeah, and then once you do that, then just describe James. Yeah. Describe James. Right? Okay. Boom. And you want to see the number of rows, it should give you 107 rows. Select so count star. Start from. Star from James. Right? 106 rows. Right? That's it. That's all I'm asking, dude. Perfect. I just said we create a table using um, using columns. Maybe that's the part that confused you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of one. Yeah. yeah, it's a column using different columns from different tables. So in order to do that, just use the join. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, good work, dude, good work. You're asking good questions, man. All you guys asking really good questions today. Good questions. And last question I have, yes, sir. <laughs> how do I actually get this job? <laughs> how do you get the job? Yes. Yeah, so do you want to, like, uh, how do we, like, because uh, I just want to scale up. I already have a job. I'm yeah. trying to scale up. So, but how do we write our resume? Like, how do well, we... I'll, 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 show you, I'll show you all that. You, you, you don't okay. have to worry about that. You just have to finish the course. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'll show you all. I'll show you all that. You just have to finish the course. Once you finish the course, then I'll be confident enough to know that yes, I can vouch for you. All right. People that don't finish the course, nah, I ain't vouching for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> of if course. You finish the course, I vouch for you. Yes. Okay. This guy is good to go. But if you haven't finished the course, no, I ain't vouching for you. Nothing. No sir. Yeah, I'll do the same. I will. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. No problem, sir. All right. Anybody else have any, have any questions? Okay, if you guys don't have any questions, then remember, uh, I'll let you guys know this weekend, um, location, times, and all that, when we're going to meet, and, and all that good stuff. And I'll also send you guys the link to um, for you to register and all that good stuff. Man, I haven't taught um, standing up since before COVID. This has been a couple of years, dude. So it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit refreshing, you know, again, I guess. Because I haven't taught in in, in 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 a little bit. So I, I kind of miss it a little bit. I have to admit, I do kind of miss kind of miss it. But it is very taxing on the body, but it's fine. You know, um, if it helps you guys learn, learn a little bit faster, sure why not? Right? Sure why not. Okay. Awesome. Do you think when when are the videos gonna be ready? Um what videos to watch. Oh, the videos? Um, yeah. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually thinking about. Um, that's a good question. That's actually a really good question. I didn't think of that. That's a good question. Um, good question. I have to. Huh. That's actually. That's actually not a bad question at all. 
So what I probably have to do is um if 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 I record them, then it, it'll be it'll be up and running. It'll be it'll be you guys will have access to it like either the next day or two days after. Okay. You guys in different countries. Right. Yeah. So yeah. because you know the, the you know the videos have to create and all that good stuff. You know, I have yeah. to wait for the guy to, to to give me the videos and all that good stuff. But um, um, I might just do the um, I don't know. Um, I got to think on this one. I might do it on as a YouTube live. I'm not sure. No pressure. I'll no, just <laughs> yeah. I might no do pressure. it as a YouTube live. I actually might do it as a YouTube live. I might. Yeah. Is that yeah. What I'm saying? I might do it as a yeah. YouTube live. We'll see. We'll but we'll see how it goes. Since you're not really teaching from scratch, so people, you just... Oh, I am. Mind. I am teaching from scratch. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm teaching from scratch. <laughs> from Linux? Yeah. So, like, yeah, because people that come to me, yeah, they, they want to learn it. They, they, they want everything from me. I say, I got to give them everything. So I'm starting everything from Linux, everything from scratch. All right. Because I got to know what you guys, what you guys have been doing. Oh, yeah. they, they want to see, right? right? So, um, so far, I think I have about... Um, Four, four or five people, right? Okay. Who say they want to? Yeah, but anyway, we'll see. We'll see. It's a good. It's a good time to join. If I find anyone that wants to join, I'll just tell them to come talk to you. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I'll send you a link and everything. And um, thank you, Mister James. I really appreciate that. But um, no worries. But um, um, yeah, we'll start next week. Um, I just gotta, you know, make sure that um, the location that I have is is is, is good to go. Right. But um, other than that, and then the camera guy and all that, yeah, I just got to just a few moving parts, but not that big a deal. But I'll definitely let okay. you guys know in the, um, in the group. Okay. 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 Mr. Moses, any questions? The moment. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. All right. Yeah. So all right. I will see you guys next week. Okay. Well, we'll wait to hear from you this sure. weekend. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Bye. bye.